Okay, it's day two on the Marantz SD800 that had the busted face. So today I have to replace the front idler tire. All the belts are completed. All the mechanisms have been cleaned. They got the proper chemicals. The clutches have been adjusted correctly. That's another reason why it wasn't working yesterday. Whoever worked on this before me didn't set the clutch spring correctly. So none of the wheels were gripping correctly. So now everything's been cleaned. It's all good to go. To replace the front idler tire, this metal bracket has to come off. So the whole mechanism has to come out and lay down. Okay. So I already cut all the wiring harnesses, all the little zip ties to loosen up all the wires to give it so it can move. So now I have to take the screws that hold the mechanism from the bottom. There's only three of them. I have to take them out, disconnect this ground wire, take this screw out, disconnect this ground wire, take this screw out, and this whole thing will be able to be moved. So now I'm gonna pause the video while I remove all those screws and slide the unit out and lay it down. So I'm gonna pause the video now. So this is the bottom. These are the three screws right here that had to come out right below the mechanism. So those three screws are out. Okay, all the screws have been removed from the mechanism. So it is free to move, okay? This record lever arm right here, I'm gonna remove it because it'll give me more room to move and it can cause some damage underneath the mechanism. So it's easier just to take this off. It just has a little retaining clip right here and it will lift off and come right out of there. Okay, so this here has to come out. Okay, so with that record lever out of the way, now the mechanism has a lot more room to move. So I took the door off the front of it so it's all totally free okay these are the belts that came out of it yesterday you can see how fucked up they are they don't even hold their shape no more okay that's how bad they was so they'll go into the trash <clears throat> so now i have to take this mechanism out and lay it down Okay, now the mechanism is completely out from the front. It's laying on its back. Okay. So, I like to put a little towel underneath of it so it doesn't hurt nothing. Okay. So, these two screws have to come out to get this black plate off the inside of the mechanism. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do right now, is remove this black plate. It's best to use a magnetic screwdriver. You do not want to drop these little screws down inside the mechanism, because then that'll be a pain in the ass. So, don't do that. Okay, so with these two screws removed... And I did drop one down in the mechanism and had to search for it and find it. Which is a pain in the ass. So, so this comes off. Okay. Well, this is the idler wheel I need to get to. And there's some things going on in here I ain't never seen before. 
Yeah. That's a strange fucking setup going on here. Okay. Excuse my French, but that looks like some kind of a nigger rig. Okay. That's... I've never seen one like that. Two washers and a metal bar. That's supposed to have a fucking clip like this holding that wheel on. I've never seen that before. Now this is my first SD800. But I still don't think that's correct. So I'm probably going to have to do some surgery on this. Because that is definitely strange. Okay. Man, I'll tell you what. There's some weird shit going on here today. Wow. So we'll see what the hell happens with that. I have to pause this video for a while. Okay. That actually is supposed to be like that. That spring. Okay. So... <clears throat> I changed the belt for the counter, okay? Put a new one on there, so that's all good. I took the cassette door mechanism off just to get it out of my way. So, now I'm just gonna figure out where I can set that spring. I think I can hook that spring right here on this little plastic nub right here okay and i think that will hold it out of the way i have a feeling that's why they put that nub there in the first place was so you could hook the spring to it okay maybe but whatever we'll figure it out as we go along okay so, it turns out that, yeah, that little nub right there works great for holding that spring up and out of the way. Okay. So, those little washers that was on there, I don't know why they did that. Because there is a slit in that metal pole for a fucking a C ring. Okay like that okay so these little washers right here just clicked into the groove so you know I don't like that idea I don't like those big fucking washers so uh, I'm gonna put some C rings the, the correct kind okay when I get that wheel taken off of there and I get the brand new rubber wheel put on there, okay, we'll see as we go along. But I don't like the way that they did it, so I think I'm going to do it my way. Okay, now that stupid spring, I'll put it back where it was. So let's just see how this turns out all right okay so I got that rubber wheel out of there okay so I measured it with the caliper tool okay this is the one I just took out this is an original from a similar cassette deck they're close. I could put this one in and it would work. Okay. 
So, but I'm going to put a brand new rubber tire on there, okay? And then put it back where it belongs. So, so that's what we're going to do now. Put new rubber on this old tired. It's just hard as a rock, okay? That's not good. You want it to be rubbery, grippy, and all that. This is just hard as fuck, okay? And it's uh, about a third of a millimeter too small from being old and tired. So this rubber's coming out of here. New one going on. So the old rubber has been taken off. It's in pretty bad shape. So the nice new rubber. Brand spanking new. All the way from Europe. We'll go on here. Okie dokie. I'm also going to put a little tiny dab of fresh oil on that little metal rod right there. Because that's really, really old. And you know. But you got to be careful when you put oil inside of here. You could put oil in the wrong place. And it could just fuck it all up. Okay. So just a little dab on a Q-tip. And then just right there. On that little post. And that'll be fine. So let's put on some fresh rubber. Okay. So we got the fresh rubber on that wheel now. And I measured it with that caliper tool. So it seems to be okay. I also cleaned up the flywheel shaft with some alcohol. That's the gray shaft you see in there where the capstan comes out right here. So I cleaned that back there with alcohol. Put a tiny dab of oil on that rod right there with a Q-tip. Okay, just enough to make sure it's clean and good. So we're ready to put this wheel back in here now. Okay. Okay. The new rubber has been installed. And I also cleaned this wheel right here with alcohol. So that's clean. Brand new rubber in there. Now... We're going to put a washer on here, and we're going to put a C-clip on there. Okay, so that'll move a lot freer than that weird fucking setup they had on there. Okay, so, you know, yeah, I don't like what they had on there, that fucking plastic wheel. So, I don't know why they did that. It's stupid, but whatever. I'll do it my way. Okay. Yeah, I just put it back on the way they had it. Fuck it. You know, to hell with it. If that stupid spring has to be there, then so can those little washers. So, but the new wheel is in there. Brand new idler tire. It's time to start putting this fucking thing back together. So, time to end this long ass video. Peace.